So my name is Emma and I'm from Perth, Australia. I have been all my life and yeah, I love it here. So I first met David four years ago, uh, 2017, I think in June, so yeah. I thought I already knew a lot of things. <laughs> Turns out um, I didn't actually have as much experience as what I originally thought I had. And so when we first started, my food and my training were absolutely all over the shop. I had no idea about anything to do with how much food I needed, the food sources that would fuel my body. And I actually realized that I had a really, really bad relationship with food. And by that, I generally mean like, I was eating salads. I wasn't actually fueling my body enough for it to burn fat, get results, build lean muscle mass, etc. And then not only was I not eating and not fueling my body enough, my training, <laughs> I was pretty much like the biggest cardio bunny. So I was doing so much HIIT training, HIIT style. And I'd say that yes, I was lifting weights, but it was more so in a HIIT sense. So I was lifting a I was doing goblet squats, but with jumping in them and yeah, so a lot of hit, a lot of cardio uh, within that. So put that with no food and there you go. That's pretty much uh, where I was at before I started seeing David. So the first thing I learned when I was working with David was number one was the training aspect. This was huge. Again, as I said, I was a massive cardio bunny. So introducing purely weight training, introducing big compound movements as well was something that was quite new to me. I had also done lots of boot camps in the past. So I was really into like the circuit style training. But then obviously when I started with David, it was really weights based, like minimal cardio. Yes, we would throw in some high intensity within our strength workouts. But I guess that's where it really changed was the fact that I was pretty much just utilizing weights in order to fully transform my body. So that's where we started. And then obviously with the training, there were some changes. And then that's when I really got a better understanding of how food was going to fuel my training and actually make my body into like that lean bikini body physique that I've always wanted. So I learned that obviously salads and not eating enough food isn't going to make me shred body fat. It's actually going to make my body not do the things that I want it to do. It isn't going to actually get me to that, to the goal physique. Like for me personally, what I really wanted was the bikini figure. I wanted a fitness model body. I wanted the shoulders. I wanted a little waist. I wanted nice lean legs and especially glutes. And so in order for me to get that was a mix of the training and the nutrition aspect. And so uh, we ended up building the amount of food that I was having. I changed my food sources. I changed my proteins i learned what carbs actually fuel my body and actually make me train like a beast and i learned sort of all of the macronutrients and how much fruit and um, really just built a strong foundation with food so i built that good relationship with it and a good relationship with my body and how much food that my body needs in order to get it to look to a certain way because i realized before i started working with david was that my relationship with food and training and myself just wasn't aligned. And so I didn't realize this, but my self-confidence and my self-worth was pretty low because I was literally, like if you think about it, my cardio training was really holding me back in what I could achieve, but that's what I believe that that's what I believed at the time, that that's what, what can get me good results. So um, yeah, obviously started with training, then moved into nutrition, and now I mix and match, put them together, and uh, yeah, I've never looked back. My training's awesome, my nutrition's awesome, and my relationship with myself is amazing. So the process of getting a bikini figure or a fitness model body is so sustainable. And anyone that tells you that you can't sustain a lean fitness body physique has probably not done it before <laughs> because at the end of the day, your relationship with the food that you have should more so be a lifestyle thing and the food that you need to be consuming should be more lifestyle based instead of trying to make yourself look a certain way over a short period of time. It's not a quick fix, obviously, once you do earn that physique, then yes, like super sustainable. I've managed to sustain most of my muscle mass, which is amazing. I'm actually competing in two weeks time. So I plan on maintaining my the leanness that I've got and the shape that I've got as well, and then taking it further into my next show. 
because it is sustainable, it is healthy. Um, and so anyone that says, uh, no, you can't be that lean and sustain that probably hasn't been there yet. I guess the one thing that I would say to someone that is starting their fitness model journey is to get yourself a coach that understands you and understands your goals and your needs and understands that the training and nutrition and mindset aspect doesn't have to kill you. It's something that you'll be able to sustain for a lifetime, not just some kind of quick fix. The things to look out for if you are starting your journey, even with a coach as well, is to make sure that you're not killing yourself doing cardio in the gym. Lots of cardio in the gym. Tell you what, for my first show, I didn't do any cardio. It was purely weights training and I looked really good for my first show. And if someone is giving you three hours of cardio on a bike or even like an hour and a half, an hour of cardio a day, that's not going to be sustainable. So if someone is giving you that, then perhaps maybe think about whether they're the right coach for you or not. Um, there is definitely someone out there. And I guess another thing to look out for is that if a coach is giving you really low foods or a low amount to eat, that is a red flag. Your body actually will thrive off more food. And if you have the right coaching with the right food sources and the right plan tailored with your nutrition and training, sorry, then you're gonna get some awesome results. So yeah, that's something to look forward to. Number one is too much cardio. And number two is minimal food. So the one thing I guess I would say to someone that's considering working with David and the Dream Body Coach team is to number one, trust the process trust what they have to say and i'm going to relate this one back to me is that forget about what you think you know and again coming from my own experience i thought i knew everything i thought cardio was the way i thought minimal food was the way and then i joined with david and my whole outlook on food is totally different the way i train is totally different he doesn't kill me with cardio he doesn't give me minimal food it's like Pretty much everything that I was doing before, I don't do any of that now. And the best part is, is that it is so simple. It is so easy. I'm getting some phenomenal results with, yes, obviously I'm working hard, but in the most basic way, it is a lifestyle for me now. And that's probably the best thing is that I can maintain this physique through, for the rest of my life because he's taught me everything that I need to know in terms of structure with training and how to fuel my body correctly in order for me to get that bikini body result. So again, trust them. Just leave the stuff at the door that you think you know and go in with a positive attitude, a good mindset, adhere to the plan, be compliant and just listen to them, trust them and you'll get some phenomenal results.